hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson we are going to discuss about the conditional instruction set and the execution into our microcontroller conditional e instructions executed based on the status of the flag into program status register as you might have noticed that earlier we had a few bits which is known as a flag into program status instruction register and those bits were n for a negative result and z for a zero result and c for carry and v for overflow and then we had i and f for interrupt mask and t that was for thump instructions and the arm instruction set and then finally we had mode which is known as a mode okay so according to this according to these flags which is known as a flags or you can say a status flag okay so according to this flag if instruction get executed then those type of instruction is known as a conditional instructions most arm instructions are conditionally executed you can specify that the instruction only execute if the condition code flags passes a given condition or test and by using a conditional execution instructions you can increase performance and the code density the condition field is a two code mnemonics a uh, two letter mnemonics condition field is two letter mnemonic and uh, this two letter mnemonic is such as al okay that's the always so this execute always let's say the eq this execute when equal gt this execute when greater than and lt this execute when less than and so on in the same way let's say if you want to branch you can write BAL that means branch always and if you say BEQ that means branch if equal if equal means if there are two registers are equal then this zero bit will be the high this zero bit will be high in that case so the flag register this flag bit will be high and this condition will be met and uh, then according to your program then uh, it will jump at a specified address in the meantime let's take it with an example so here we are going to take an example with the add instruction so we have here instruction that's the add instruction and we are going to take eq as our uh, condition now suppose that a alu operation was performed alu operation was performed with suffix s okay that means this yes as you might have seen in my previous tutorial i had specified you need to suffix s into each instruction if you want to update a program status register that's okay now let's do 
uh, now let's write uh, conditional statement or conditional instruction here add eq r0 r1 and r2 this means this will produce result r0 is equal to uh, sorry r0 is equal to r1 plus r2 only if 0 flag is set right exactly so another important point which I would like to make it here is that only comparison and data processing and data processing instructions updates status register with added suffix as we all know that is s in each instruction so long story in short you can add this suffix only in comparison and data processing instructions only these two type of instructions updates program status register okay right so now let's take an another example in which we are going to write an um, C code and uh, then we are going to test that let's say if a equal to b if a equal to the b then jump to test then how we can write this into assembly let's assign this r0 a into r0 and this r1 into b right so what we can say here we can write instruction cmp r0 and r1 now it will compare this r0 and r1 if this is equal then it will reach 0 flag equal to 1 so now the comparison has been done this is the cmp and after this what we can do we can see the BEQ branch if equal to test okay so this test is label this test is label where our assembler or compiler will go after this comparison and execution of this branch instruction 